Terry, where JAM stands for Jesus and Me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Children, last week we talked about forgiveness in our Walk It Out series. It's so important that we're going to continue learning about it again today. We learned that God has forgiven us for so much. And we know that forgiveness means a lot to God because he gave his only son, Jesus, to die for us on the cross. Jesus didn't just die because he had nothing else better to do. He died so that we could be forgiven. So if Jesus could do that for us, then we can forgive others when they do things that hurt us or make us sad. And there's a secret about forgiveness that you probably didn't know. When we decide not to forgive someone, we're really hurting ourselves and our relationship with God. How, you may ask? Well, I'll share three ways that unforgiveness hurts us, three ways why we should forgive, and three Bible verses that tell us that we should forgive. Are you ready? Here are the three ways that unforgiveness hurts us. Number one, when we don't forgive, we sin, and sin separates us from God. Number two, when we don't forgive, we hurt our bodies because we become bitter and angry and hold grudges against others. And we might even want to give back at them or hurt them. And our bodies can become sick inside. And it can hurt the way we look, the way we think, and the way we feel. Number three, when we don't forgive, we block our blessings from God. Woo, that's not good. I don't know about you, but I want all the blessings God has for me. But when we do forgive, number one, we can have a great relationship with God. Number two, our lights can shine bright because we look, feel, and think like God. And number three, we open ourselves up to all the blessings that God has for us and for others through us. God wants to use you and me in a special way to bless ourselves, our families, and the world. There's good news in the Bible about forgiveness. Number one, Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15 say, If you forgive other people when they sin against you, God our Father will forgive us as well. But if you don't forgive others of their sins, our Father will not forgive us. Number two, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, it says to be compassionate towards one another, just as Christ forgave you and me. And then number three, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, it says, put up with each other and forgive one another for doing wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Think about this, children. By not forgiving one another, we hold ourselves like we're in prison in our minds, in our bodies, in our relationships. But when we forgive, we set ourselves free. We are free. We are free for ourselves. We're free with God. And we're free to share God's love with the world. So if there's someone you need help forgiving, Go to God in prayer and ask for his help. In fact, let's pray right now. Dear God, help us to forgive others who have wronged us so we can be free from hurt, anger, and bitterness. Help us to have a forgiving heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.